Shape of My Heart by Sting, folks. That is what we're going to do now. It was also covered by um, Juice World track called Lucid Dreams, where they sampled Daniel uh, Dominic Miller's guitar and um, made another hit track. Now, I have painstakingly, don't ask me how to spell painstakingly, but I have painstakingly scribbled it out for you like this. This is our fretboard up to the 12th fret, and as you'll see down the bottom, tells you exactly where your fingers are going to go. Uh, I've also included in this the middle section, which not many people do, which is a keychain solo, where it goes to C sharp. I'm not going to cover that today. I'm going to see how this vid gets on. If uh, enough people watch it, then um, of course I'll show you how to do it. I am going to, however, you know, make it available to you. If you click on the link below, it'll all be there. But for today, I'm just going to show you the main bit um, and see how we get on. All right, so... It's a tricky thing, but it isn't. Once you get the idea, uh, it, it's fine. Now, why am I using an electric guitar? Well, I've got my nylon in the back there, but um, it sounds so nice with the reverb, and I haven't got a decent enough mic with me to mic up my nylon, so that's the reason I'm doing it on this uh, on this PRS guitar. So let's begin. All right, first finger on the third string at the sixth fret. I'm going to look at this one here. See that there? Bum bum bum. All right, you can see I put the fret numbers there for you. And we'll look at these things in a minute. Okay, so first finger, third string, sixth fret. Little finger on the second string, tenth fret. Now, don't be scared to, about this. It, it, this big shape only happens once. All right, so just go with it. And put your third finger on the fifth string at the ninth fret, okay? Now, the first thing we're going to do as we go along, we're going to get the phrasing in our head. Ba, 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 ba. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, don't start flashing away at it until you know what it is in your head. Ba, 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 ba. Da, 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 da. Okay, so, second string, you know, little rule of the fingers, we know the rule of the fingers. The first finger plays the third string, second finger plays the second string, and when this one comes in first, if, if necessary, we'll use that one. So, we're going to play the second string, then a five, then a three. Phrasing is da 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 da. Starting with the second string, da 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 da. All right. So far, so good. Leave your first finger where it is. Put your second finger now, which is currently doing nothing, on the fifth string at the seventh fret. Bring your little finger down to the second string at the ninth. And this time you're going to lead with your fifth string. Ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay. Da, 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 da. Five two, five three two. Put the two bits together. We've got this. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Move that same shape down two frets exactly the same. Do the same pick again. Five two, five three two. Ba 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 ba. Let's put those three bits together. The next half. Now, when you've done that, that final one there, five two five three two. I want you to lead with one more fifth string on that same shape because we're going to do this. And there's a little jump there, so we need to make sure we get this right. So it's five two. Five, three, two, five, and then tr throw this first finger across five strings at the fourth fret and play five and two together, then a third string, and then little finger, move it down. I'll play that last bit again. Sorry. So we've got this. shape again but instead of your first finger being at the sixth fret was that really audible stretch put it in the seventh fret the other two fingers exactly the same and start again get that subtle change same pick two four. back to the second shape exactly the same as the first time around. and again 
again, same as before. All right, so we've got this. <laughs> Where are we? string at the fourth fret and then we're going to play the fifth string again adding our second finger to the fifth string the uh, fifth fret so from the fourth to the fifth and while that second finger is on you're going to bring your first finger down to play the third string at the fourth fret so let's do that slowly can you see this and then once that's those two are in position bring your little finger to the second string at the seventh fret and play the two and then the three. I'll do that again. Now, when I've played that three, I bring my little finger up, my little finger off now, and play the first string at the fifth fret. It's quite stretchy. If you don't take this off, you'll have trouble getting to it. So I'll do it again. Play the one, and then put the little finger back on. That that note's done its job, and play the two three again. Now Dominic Miller plays a very short scale guitar, it's tiny, so the frets are much closer together. So he's able to sort of put a lot of these bits together and use his third finger to stretch. You know, it, on a full scale guitar it's much more difficult. So do it this way, trust me. And remember the phrasing do dum da 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 and again, ba bum ba 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 ba. Get that phrasing in your head. Da dum da 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 da. Okay, now when you've done that, I want you to keep fingers one and your little finger four in this orientation and move down to the second fret and the fourth. Now, he plays an A string now, Dominic, on a bass string at the fifth fret. Look at the stretch involved. He sort of goes, he does this. Now, where's the nearest A string? What? Where's the nearest A? Instead of doing that, what can we do to save all this messing around? Play an open fifth. No brainer, really. On a short scale, fine, do that if you want. Maybe he chose to use that inversion of A as opposed to an open fifth because it sounded a bit muddier, a little bit duller in sound. But when you've got that much reverb on it and there's much more likelihood of you making a right pig's ear of it, take my advice, use an open fifth string instead. Much easier and it's better to play a fifth like that sounding a little bit different rather than making the right balls up of it, all right? So let's do this bit again. And then when you're on this shape, you're gonna play a a five, and then you're gonna hit strike three and two with a pluck. And you're gonna hammer that third finger onto the third string of the fourth fret. I'll play that again. Then take the third finger off and play the three and two again. I'll do it again. Then a three to follow. All right, so. String, sorry, five strings at the fourth fret, and you're going to make this shape. It looks like a C sharp seventh, but because you're not going to strike the third string, which you're not, then which you mustn't, then it's it's in fact it's just a C sharp. Although the shape is a C sharp seventh in shape, and you're going to play five, four, two. Okay, that's all we're going to play on that. So we've got this. Um, Move that same shape up one fret and you're going to play five, four, and two together. Bring off your little finger and play the second string again. Put your little finger on the third string underneath your third finger at the seventh fret and play that note so you've got this. And then we're going to trundle down those two fingers to the fourth fret. Keep them in position. 
put your second finger now on the bass string of the fourth fret and put your first finger on the second string of the second fret and play six, four, and two. Then a three. So when you get down to there, six, four, and two, can you see the shape? Put a bar across and play a three. And then finally add these two fingers, three and four, to a fret four, one on the fifth string, one on the fourth string to make your final F sharp minor. Okay, so I'll do it all slowly, okay? So I hope you've enjoyed doing this. Now this is the this is the uh, the pick. Da 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 and so on. You know, uh, a couple of little um, little notes here. Whenever you see it, and with a a finger with with some, with a circle around, it means something's going to happen with that. In this case, it's going to move from there to there. All right. So um, get stuck in. And as I say, this is the Dominic Miller bit. The key change, which goes to a C-sharp minor, is all there as well. I'm not going to do that for you now. If enough people watch this video and say, please, can we do the second half? I will. But um, let's see how the first half goes. So tell your friends about that one. As I say, anyone that's under 20 will like this because um, featured in a track called Lucid Dreams by Juice World. So uh, it's worth doing on two levels. One, if you're a, you know, an old smoothie that likes um, Sting, or one if you're one of these more hipsters. Is that a word that I can use these days? You know what I mean. Lucid dreams, juice world. Right, I've had enough. I'm going to go out and annoy someone. Um, and I'm going to be back with this. Which I promised to do last week, but I just haven't got around to it. Right, see you next time. Don't forget to uh, get your friends to subscribe. Uh, any suggestions, then um, I'll help you. Anyone gets stuck on this, then uh, message me, whatever it is, and uh, I'll help you out with that too. Right, in the meantime, stay safe, folks, and I will see you soon. Take care.